Hello again. It's 10 months since we last updated you on our progress towards changing from vehicle to grid to vehicle to home. At that time, you may remember I said this. We have reached a tipping point in the saga, but we felt we needed to know what was going to happen next before making this fourth video. The fact is, right now, we don't know what will happen next. Well, now we do. In fact, everything has come together in the last couple of days. But first, in all our videos, we have answered the main question people ask us when they know we have been doing V to G. How is your car battery holding up? So let's have another look. Last September, it was standing at 93.85%. After another 10 months of driving and vehicle to grid, we were expecting an SOH of about 91%. We're delighted to report that when we checked with LeafSpy Pro on the 20th of July, the state of health of our battery is currently 93.31%. So we've lost only 0.54 of 1% in the last 10 months. Our 62 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf has reached its fourth birthday and has just had its annual service and MOT with Fish Brothers in Swindon. While the car was away, Indra flashed their new v h software into our charger. At the same time, knowing this was about to happen, we set in motion the switch from OVO to Octopus Energy's flux tariff. That too happened on the same day. In every case, and at every time of day, the export rate is less than the import. The only way to make money by sending electricity to the grid is by importing between 2am and 5am and exporting during peak hours. That is not what vehicle to home is for. The schedule built into the Indra portal has been set up to make the most of vehicle to home. From 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., it buys cheap green electricity from the grid and charges the car. From 5 a.m. right through until 4 p.m., it does what is called load matching. This means the charger will always aim to keep our use of electricity being bought from the grid as close to zero as possible. If our house is generating surplus energy from our solar panels, the charger will send it to the car rather than exporting it to the grid. When we cook a meal or run the washing machine, our house is obviously consuming more energy, especially after dark. This would normally result in a net import from the grid. Indra's V2H unit will take more electricity from our car battery to meet the power needs of our home rather than buying it from the grid. From 4 p.m. until 7 p.m., the unit will discharge any surplus electricity to the grid to gain the advantage of the highest peak time export rate of the day. Finally, from 7 p.m. until 2 a.m., the system reverts to load matching, so we use no expensive day rate electricity during the evening. We wanted to update you as soon as possible, so we've made this quick video. Right now, however, we have less than 24 hours of stats, so it's far too early to have any sensible figures. We're pretty certain we have not imported 4.7 megawatt hours during July. Of course, it will settle down and make sense. Keep watching and we'll update you in due course. It's taken longer than we hoped to make this switch, but suddenly everything has come together on the same day and it all changes from here on in. Exciting times. Make sure you've subscribed. Bye for now.